let's have a look at how we decompose market share into its three components. Uh, it's a little bit tricky if you don't quite understand it, so I'll just work through it using a very simple example. Okay, as we know, market share is simply your brand sales over all the sales in the marketplace. Okay, and it says there, basically we use this as a guide to competitive position. Okay, so here's our simple example. What we're going to look at is a, 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 a small town or an area where there is three different pizza stores and there are five consumers in the marketplace. So that's how many they buy and adds up to 10. You'll note there are five consumers and one of them doesn't buy any pizzas. So that's going to be important for us to use. And this first store gets four sales, so they get 40% of the 10. Uh, the second one also gets four sales, and the last one gets just two sales. Okay, what metrics can we construct? Okay, what we need to do is try and allocate the customers per store. So I've reorganized the previous slide, and we've still got our three stores across the top. But now I'm saying, where are they getting their sales from? So this place sells four across two consumers, three and one and two. You should note that Davey is across two stores and Eddie's down here and he hasn't bought any pizzas at, at that time. Okay, from that information, we can actually construct uh, a number of metrics. The first one there is brand penetration. Okay, so how many customers? So we're looking at number of customers now, not sales. Can we reach? Okay, there's five potential customers in the place, in the market here. Okay, uh, and the first store here has reached two of them, one, two. The second store, one, two. And the third store has only reached one. So these two stores, both have a 40% brand penetration. This one has a 20% brand penetration. Now the second metric there is called a penetration share. Very similar metric, except what we're looking at is we don't include Eddie. Now Eddie has not bought, he's part of the target market, okay, but he's not an active consumer, he's a non-consumer. So when we look at what's called penetration share, which is one of our three components of market share, we only look at the numbers of customers. So we're only looking at it out of four customers now. Okay, we're not counting Eddie. So these, these two have two out of the possible four. This one has one out of four. So 50% penetration share and 25% penetration share. And that becomes part of uh, one of the three components of market share. Okay, we could also work out, if we wanted to, market penetration, which is where we add up the whole market. Here we've done brand penetration or store penetration. Brand penetration and market penetration are very similar. And what we're doing is saying, hey, there are four active customers out of a possible five. So if this number is quite low, you might say, hey, there's opportunities to grow by bringing new con consumers into the marketplace. And just down the bottom here, I have all the details of what it is. So I'm talking about a potential customer, whether or not they buy, and actual live, actual active customers. Okay, the second component of market share is called share of customer. It's also sometimes called share of requirements, and in different industries, they have their own terminology. Okay, so what I'm doing here is saying, is trying to work out for each particular store, how much are we winning? The easiest one here is the third store with Abby. Uh, she only buys from this particular store. Uh, and in this particular period, uh, she was the only customer. Um, so therefore, this store has one, well, uh, two, out of two possible sales. So they have 100% share of customer, 100% share of Abby. Okay. For the others, what we've got is we've got Davey buying across two different stores. 
So we're going to count Davy twice, and we're going to count him in total. He is a consumer that buys three per week. So in this case, he's bought two out of three at this store and one out of three at this store. So what we do is we add them up. Billy, they've got two out of two. Davey, two out of three. That gives them four out of five. So of the people who walked into this store, they won 80% of the potential business from those actual customers. This second store here won three out of three from Charlie, but won only one out of three from Davey. So they won four out of a possible six. So their share of customer is 67%. The final third component is called, uh, I've called it index of usage. Okay, so up here I've got how does the brand's customer's average sales compare, oh sorry, to the, to the market average. Are we generating more heavy or light users? Okay, and again what we're doing is looking at their total sales. So as you can see, Billy is, uh, sorry, Davey is counted twice again. Uh, he buys three, so we're putting him down twice as three. Now, as we know, the total sales in the market was 10, and there was four active customers. So the, the average customer bought 2.5 for, for the time period. Abby over here, she only bought two, so she's a little bit below average. So we just index that, so she's 80% of the average, 0.8. Over here, Billy and Davey, even though he only bought two from there, he is a consumer that actually buys three. So we, we count his total purchases. And this one here is, is where Davey is included again. As you can see, Paula's Pizza Shop has attracted Charlie and has attracted Davey. Both of them are the larger consumers in the marketplace. So this store actually attracts a slightly larger or heavier user. So these ones are average, slightly above average, so they're getting to heavier users, and this one's slightly below average. Once we have those three components, they can just simply be multiplied together to work out uh, market share. So I've got the figures we've worked out for each of the three stores and I've just multiplied them out. As you can see, they add up to the actual market share figures. Okay, that's fantastic. So what do we do with this? As it says here, it helps us identify opportunities for growth. So what should each store do? Let's have a look. Okay, so if we have a situation where we have a low penetration share, which is basically our share of numbers of customers, okay, which is based on how many we have versus how many in the marketplace, then our goal in this case would be to get new customers. We need more customers. If we have a low level of index, then we should try to target heavy users. And if our weakness appears to be share of customer, uh, then we should be looking to target existing customers. So that's it. That's how it works together.